After more than a decade of fascinating discoveries, the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope will soon be given the new beginning that it deserves. Today, NASA has decided to launch a space shuttle mission in 2008 to repair and even upgrade the observatory. Despite new shuttle safety rules formulated after the Columbia disaster that would normally rule out such a rescue mission. Since Columbia, the shuttle has been launched on three missions confirming that the numerous improvements since the disaster have established a high level of safety for the vehicle and its crew. After weighing the pros and cons, and bearing in mind that Hubble's orbit does not allow the shuttle crew to take refuge aboard the International Space Station and wait for rescue if the space shuttle is damaged at launch, NASA Administrator Mike Griffin has now given the green light for a fifth Hubble servicing mission. Hubble Space Telescope is the great workhorse of space astronomy. It's been a great cooperation between us Europeans and the United States. We've had some very anxious times in the last few years, and I hope this marks uh, really uh, a renewal of life. I hope for as long as we can make it. The servicing mission will not only ensure that Hubble can function for perhaps as many as another 10 years, it will also increase its scientific capabilities significantly in some key areas. This highly visible mission, named STS-125, is expected to take place in 2008 and will feature several spacewalks. As part of the upgrade, two new scientific instruments will be installed, the Cosmic Origin Spectrograph and the Wide Field Camera 3. Each has advanced technology sensors which will improve Hubble's potential for discovery. Today, Hubble is producing more science than ever before in its history. Astronomers are regularly asking for five times more time than is available to them. The new instruments will open up new windows on the universe, and extraordinary observations are planned in the coming years, including those of some of the most fascinating physical phenomena. Detailed investigations of planets around nearby stars, delving deeper into the origins of the Milky Way, and perhaps most importantly, gaining new insights into the evolution of the universe. Around the same time that the shuttle lifts off for the servicing mission, ESA will launch Herschel, the orbiting telescope with the largest mirror ever deployed in space. Herschel will complement Hubble in the infrared part of the spectrum and is an ESA mission with NASA participation. In a separate project, Hubble's direct successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, is being built in collaboration with NASA, ESA and the Canadian Space Agency, but will need at least seven more years to launch. After more than a decade of spectacular observations, Hubble will not be left at the mercy of its aging instruments. Instead, it will now be given the new life that it deserves by providing it with extra power to discover the long-sought key to unfolding the mysteries of the universe. Even though we measure in many different other wavelengths and we have other observatories, Hubble needs to be there. 